The Pride of God's Elect Introduction In the realm of religious beliefs, Calvinism stands out as a theological system that emphasizes the sovereignty of God in salvation. Followers of Calvinism, also known as Reformed theology, often possess a deep conviction that they are part of a select group chosen by God for salvation. While this belief can provide comfort and assurance, it also has the potential to foster a sense of pride and haughtiness. In this video, we will explore the pride and hubris that can be felt by those who consider themselves one of God's elect and the dangers that come with such an attitude. The Arrogance of Calvinism Calvinism, at its core, teaches that God has chosen certain individuals for salvation completely independent of any merit or worth on their part. This doctrine, known as predestination, has been a source of controversy throughout history. While Calvinists take solace in the belief that their salvation is secure, this assurance can sometimes lead to arrogance. I've never met a Calvinist yet who wasn't convinced that they themselves are one of the elect. The Boastful Nature of Reformed Theology With the conviction that they are part of God's chosen few, some Calvinists exhibit a boastful attitude. This pride can manifest itself in various ways, from an elevated sense of spiritual superiority to a dismissive attitude towards those who hold different beliefs. Boasting in one's own election can create division and hinder genuine relationships, undermining the very message of love and grace that Christianity is built upon. If you have ever talked to a Calvinist preacher, prepare yourself for their condescending attitude if you mention dealing with certain sin in your life. For you see, they are the enlightened ones. Their lives are not defined by sin. The dangers of haughtiness. Haughtiness, or an undue pride in oneself, is a perilous trap that anyone can fall into regardless of their religious beliefs. However, the doctrine of election in Calvinism has the potential to exacerbate this tendency. Those who believe they are among God's elect often begin to see themselves as superior to others, looking down upon those they presume to be outside of God's chosen circle. This attitude goes against the teachings of humility and compassion that are central to the Christian faith you will quickly note a lack of love in the strict Calvinist. Think of it as a spiritual caste system. They are the elect after all, and you may or may not be. If you are struggling to understand something or have a bad habit you are dealing with, then you most certainly are not one of the few. Guarding against a Pharisaical spirit. The Pharisees of Jesus' time were known for their self-righteousness and legalistic tendencies. They religiously followed the law, but lacked the humility and love that should characterize true followers of God. In a similar vein, Calvinists must guard against adopting a pharisaical spirit. They celebrate their own election while looking down on others, yet they should embrace the humbling truth that salvation is a gift of grace, not a reward for their own piety and spiritual enlightenment. Balancing Confidence and Humility While it is important to be confident in one's faith and have assurance, there must also be a healthy dose of humility. Recognizing that one's salvation is solely a work of God's grace helps to keep pride at bay. It is crucial for Calvinists to remember that they are recipients of God's mercy no more deserving than anyone else. In this way, they can approach others with love, understanding, and a desire to share the good news rather than asserting their own superiority. But this is a struggle for them. They recognize God's sovereignty but take it to an extreme, making God responsible for every action that plays out on the stage of human reality, including tragedies and sin. Conclusion the pride and hubris that can be felt by those who believe they are among God's elect is a potential danger in Calvinism. While the belief in predestination can offer some comfort and assurance, it must be accompanied by humility and a genuine love for others. The true spirit of Christianity lies in recognizing our own unworthiness and extending grace to all, irrespective of their current beliefs or theological persuasions. Let us embrace a spirit of humility, understanding, and compassion, seeking unity in our shared faith rather than division based on perceived superiority. And let the true gospel of Christ, that he died to save all who would believe, ring out from the mountains to the valleys. Make today your day of salvation. Believe in the Lord today. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.